Yeah. How are you? Good. Well, g'day. I'm back here again, Greg James from Greg James Fishing World, and I'm here on a cool summer's morning at Summit Park Beach with my mate Sean, and we're going to chase some yellowfin whiting. What we've got as bait is some whole green king prawns, and we're going to use these green, as in uncooked prawns, as our bait this morning. We'll see how we go. So Sean and I have come down really early, got our cup of tea, and here we are at Summit Park Beach. What we're doing with all this messy bit, the shell, so that <clears throat> it's taking the shells off and the flesh underneath is really soft and pliable and in a moment Sean will put these in what we call a burly bag <clears throat> pardon me, and Sean's actually got one of these here today and we're going to throw that off the shore and um, it'll keep all the mess inside the burly bag but it's really good for attracting the uh, attracting the fish oh, We've got something here Sean That's Fish. huge mate, what are you, what's on there? Piece of weed, or we've got the beach. Just tightening the drag. That was a big strike. <laughs> Jeez. So I've just leave some left of the drag on it and let the thing run out. Yeah. He's taking the run, he's still falling pretty tight. I reckon it might be a bit of a shark. Probably looking for a few humans early in the morning fishing. <laughs> okay, so here we are, it's still uh, very early morning, probably around about 6.30 or so. And uh, we've got here about a, not quite a two metre rod, 20 odd pound breaking strain. And I think we've got a small shark off the beach at Summerton, Summerton Parkway. Uh, on a mixture of baits, Sean's line, I'm just helping him out at the moment. Actually, he's gone up for a coffee and I've grabbed his rod and he doesn't know, but that's okay. Don't tell him and I won't. And I've just re had to reset the drag. We almost had him on the beach and he took a run. And sharks tend to be just along this sort of a coast, from my experience, bottom feeders. So he's probably a Wobbegong or could be a Port Jackson. Could see. Might even be a sting though. Oh, bit of a fight. He's big. What do you reckon we've caught, mate? I don't know. It's um. Oh, I think it's a right near the kayak. Huh? Some people got no bloody idea. Hey. Here we go. Here he comes. We'll get him in so we can cut the line and let him go. So we're going to hold the rod yep. and your knife. Yep. You got the camera? Yep.
what we've just done is I've just lost about a foot or so of Sean's very expensive fishing line. It was a little coastal ray, a little <coughs> skate they're called. Uh, beautiful little creatures, so we've let him go. Sent him out to bother the boats out behind us there on the horizon. And uh, we'll now get back to restringing this line and um, see if we can catch a few yellowfin whiting. Well, you're onto a monster grey. Jeez, you nearly needed the gaff to bring that one ashore. It's a monster, isn't it? Little baby Tommy Ruff, I reckon. Take a look out of his mouth and uh, put him back in the water. Don't believe in kissing the fish. <laughs> you're on? Oh, I reckon. Another baby. Oh. Oh look, you are on fire. Two babies in a row and they did all the baits. That's four baits and two babies. Ah. Oh, he's off. There we go. Well, that's it Sean. We've had a good day on the beach but that's all it's been. We used fresh prawn which caught lots of small fish but we put them back because that's the right thing to do. Tight lines everyone and we'll be back here on Wednesday morning. Catch you then. Thank you.